So we've been out at sea for three days now. I heard a sailor talking about having to cook food on an engine once, and we are so hungry, we've decided we're gonna try and cook some eggs on a frying pan on the engine. One thing that I've been trying to do is to capture exactly what it's like out here. What do you think, Cap? How tired are you out of 10? Aristotle builds his physics upon principles that appeal to him intellectually. I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> we've been sailing around the world for the last six years now and recently it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. Be on the starboard starboard side of screen. Before we get into this episode guys we have some big news so bear with us. We've had we've made no plans for this video we're really ad-libbing. We are riffing. <laughs> Do you want to start on me? As you know we're working on our new boat project and uh, nothing is really for free in this world unfortunately our new boat is not going to be free nor was this one which for some reason everyone thought probably i led people fault. astray with a silly title yeah of video. that was our fault but anyway we're in the process of getting a loan for our new boat which is going to be our home and a part of that process means that we actually have to put this boat up for sale the vagabond is up for sale she's pretty 2017 model the next logical step on our journey. This may not all happen, but if it does, which we think that it will, then it will become necessary to sell this boat. So she's up for sale. She's up for sale. We're going for it. We're just throwing ourselves in the deep end here, putting our boat up on the market and hoping that everything falls into place. She's a great vessel. She's traveled many miles, got lots of accessories. <laughs> accessories. Oh dear. She's got the knife rack, the spice rack. No, it's it's great. It's been run in. We beat it up on that second Atlantic crossing, came back and ironed out all of the problems at Sopramar in Lagos. Um, and then there's, because it's a boat, there's been other little things come up and I've been smashing them as they appear. There might not be a boat in the Northern Hemisphere in better shape than La Vagabond She's is She's looking pretty What do you reckon about that, Pants? <laughs> The boat will probably be in Grenada when we sell it. Actually, the boat's for sale now, so wherever we are, it's for sale there. We hope to keep it for another how many months? This is where the, it starts to get a bit grey. There's um, a lot of... But we'll... You can't have it tomorrow, but maybe next weekend. <laughs> If you think that you, you like the look of it and you're not interested in waiting two year waiting periods to build a brand new boat, then I think that this is sort of right in your target area. We don't want to get off the boat right away, we yeah, can't. Yeah, we, we can't, but work, work with us and... Uh, we could agree upon a date, we could hand her over. What's some really cliche used car salesman schemes that they that they run i don't know i think we just roll our best shots there we it'll go come, it'll come with a full tank of fuel full tank of fuel maybe they can keep you can keep the plants there we go That's a, these plants don't die you don't have to water them we'll make an email address specifically for this that will be in as always in the description below and if you're seriously interested, please give us an email and we'll send you all the details. We'll be really sad to leave this boat. Like like every boat, so many memories. This yeah. is Le little Lenny's first home. And yeah. This boat has been amazing. Honestly, we can't fault it. It has been so comfortable, so fast and just well made. Like, we will miss her, but we're really ready for a new thing, a new project new that's super hands-on. And, um, to reinvigorate everything. Yeah, like we've said, and we're going to be covering previously laid tracks, but we love this boat, but we want to try and pull off something incredible. And if we do, then it will become necessary to sell this one. Yeah. So it's for sale. Mm -hmm. That's the big news. On with the show. Hope you like it. It's a pretty fun one. And thank you guys all for your support and for being here and allowing us to live our dream even though it's difficult at times it is what we want to be doing and um just thank you 
So to, if th this will go at the start of the video, mm. which means, so would we have traveled back in time or forwards in time? So from the perspective of the mm -hmm. viewer, if we've inserted this into the start of the video, mm -hmm. have we gone forwards in time or backwards in time? Well, we're just in time. We're just in the present. But oh. this video is going to be posted at in the future. <laughs> That's so confusing. Yeah, yeah. Would we have traveled back in time? This is some inception stuff of... that I just don't get. No, it's actually uh, Albertus Einsteinius's. Um, you guys are in the future now. Theory of relativity. We are in the past. General relativity. As this video goes live. Because time and space. <laughs> don't get all philosophical. Okay, thanks, guys. Good morning everyone. We went about 160 miles yesterday. We have got 318 miles to go. We sailed in our first 24 hours 160 miles, which is pretty good. The wind has swung around in front of us, so we're beating into it a bit, but it is light, which means that the beating isn't violent or rough or difficult. It's just fairly pleasant. But it's always when you're heading into the wind, it just feels a bit powered up. But it's, it's, it's very chill. We're not quite headed on course. So the wind has come around in front of us, which is knocking us just south of our island. So that's a little bit annoying. And still no gas. We're all hungry. Elena and Lenny are asleep. And all is well on board the good ship Vagabond. Instead, Aristotle built his physics upon principles that appealed to him intellectually. He suppressed facts he found unappealing and focused his efforts on the reason things happen. Who's been into that? I put tomato on. Oh, it's gone. Nah. Who's been nibbling away at it? <laughs> oh, maybe that was the one I did. <laughs> You'll be right. We've been at sea for 38 hours now. So relaxing, just listening to podcasts after podcast. And sleeping. Very sleepy on this trip. I think I needed a bit of a break actually. Give me a kiss. Can you give me a kiss? Oh, that hurts, that hurts. You tell me about the weather. It's good, it's kind of perfect. At 12 knots, the sea state's very calm and we're sailing quite fast, so it's good, everything's good. What happened? Lenny came out. Lenny came out with a pair of shoes and a maraca. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Funny. Before we get into this episode, we wanted to say a huge thank you to DJI for sponsoring this video. We've been using DJI drones since the very beginning, almost <laughs> since the very beginning actually. I, we bought a really cheap drone and I think it only lasted a week. You crashed that in Grenada, I think. I crashed, it wasn't my fault though, it was just the technology was not there. <laughs> yeah, that's a story not worth mentioning. As you know, we're pretty weight conscious on the boat, so everything we bring on board needs to serve its purpose. Riley would say it needs to serve two. We recently got our hands on the DJI Mini 2, which you might have seen released recently. It's the most portable and lightweight DJI drone weighing in at 249 grams, which is similar to the size of a smartphone. And yeah, that makes it absolutely perfect for traveling, but what we love the most about it is because it is so small, there's actually less restrictions with flying it, unlike the bigger drones. It's got a maximum flight time of 31 minutes and a transition distance of up to 10 kilometers, but what we've learned is it is always good to remain within line of sight. It shoots in 4K and it snaps photo in both JPEG and RAW, and it's got five quick shot modes, which is pretty snazzy. 
So what that means is with one tap you're able to make your shots look pretty pro even if you don't know anything about drones. Yeah this drone is very beginner friendly, great for any fresh upcoming travel vloggers, for families to take on outings or to the beach with its easy setup and one tip if you're on a boat too it's better if you don't fly it when it's too windy or you have bad weather unlike the Volvo guys and one tip is to actually bring the boat to a near stop before attempting to land it and we do this by steering into the wind especially if we've got full sails up. The drone's also really good for helping us navigate reefs or shallow sandbars and even for finding a good spot to anchor. So if you've been meaning to make the investment into a drone this one retails at $449 but for a bit more you can get the DJI Mini 2 Fly More combo which is what we got. It gives you a whole bunch of extras and accessories and it's cheaper than buying the drone and the accessories separately. That one retails at $599. Um, so yeah feel free to have a look if you like you can use our link I'll also pop it in the description below and enjoy the fly Night time. It's good fun. Fiberglass wall. Okay, so I'm on night shift now, everyone's asleep. I'm taking 10 until 1, and Andre will be on from 1 until 4. One thing that I've been trying to do is to capture exactly what it's like out here for you guys. Like, I've, I've got movies in my mind and I, I wanna really try and give you the full experience from where you are as to what it feels like, like the petrifying sense of anxiety, where as you're out in the middle of nowhere, but also how wondrous that is. And I actually, during a podcast on Philosophize This, I came across, I think it was Edmund Burke was doing some writing on the sublime. And that's the feeling that you get for sure out here. And he actually, I forget the guy's name in the Philosophize This podcast, but he goes in, he uses um, sailing as a metaphor. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a extreme and very, very, unique experience. What's happened? Obviously the sun came out, everything's fine. I've shaken out one reef and I should have shaken out two. I just woke up with Lenny and Riley's about to go to bed but he's just waiting because we have full sail up and there's been these low, rolly looking clouds coming and he's had a few scores in the night and they've only got to 16 knots of true wind which brings out apparent wind speed to 23 sometimes which is okay before taking a reef. We're supposed to take a reef at 21 knots apparent um, but it's better if we can just keep the sail up because they do pass quite quickly. But yeah, he's waiting for this way, uh, wave, <laughs> it pretty much is a wave, it looks like a wave, waiting for this cloud to come over to see if it brings way more because then we'll definitely need to take a reef and it's much easier to take it with two people. What do you think, Cap? How tired are you out of 10? Seven. Got the grey dead eyes of the fish. The wind strength of the squalls seemed to be getting stronger and stronger with each rolling wave of a cloud that came over. We put a reef in the main so that we could all rest easy for a while. With each burst of wind, we'd also start surfing and so we had to adjust our hydro generator settings for it to be able to handle a faster speed because otherwise the blades can snap.
back to Monday Night Cookings with Elena. We've been out at sea for three days now and we've been on an all raw food diet. Not by choice, but we'll tell you about that later. Let's see what's on the menu. <laughs> Lenny's already ruined the appearance, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. This is insane. This is incredible, though. Last day the chips come out, and boy oh boy are we excited! I didn't know <laughs> that you had these, or they would not have lasted. I was literally seconds. dreaming of these as I napped mm. this evening. Mm. So we've been out at sea for three days now, and today we've run out of wind and we turned on the engines. And it made me remember, I heard a sailor talking about having to cook food on an engine once. And we are so hungry, we've decided we're going to try and cook some eggs on a frying pan on the engine. On that, I think it would cook have, without the movement, so it would just roll off. But yeah, this does not work. I don't know who told me that. Ew! What? Are you serious? Stop! There's another egg there if you want, Andre. Uh. <laughs> no thanks. You're crazy. <laughs> This is one of the most dangerous parts of any trip is when you get close. Everyone's tired, everyone's on their phones. Um, we're getting closer to land, it's dark, There's, it's a place we haven't been before. There could be boats around, there is buoys around, buoys in the water. So I've just pulled in here to anchor. I need to be a bit quiet because everyone's asleep. I came in here and anchored in a nest of mono holes. Um, I just anchored where the other boats were because I don't know much about this place. So I tried to keep a little bit of distance. Tomorrow we'll find out more. It's about 2 a.m. Um, I'm gonna jump into bed. Good morning, Funchal. Unfortunately, our date with you won't be for a fair while. We've got to sit here on anchor for a few days until we can do our COVID test and have it cleared. The absolute last thing we'd want is to make you sick. So as much as we all want to come and hang out, we must all be patient. Can you pass those to Dre? Can you pass this to Dre? Well done, high five. 
<laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable how filthy a boat can get after just four days out at sea. The wetness from the sea and the rain outside always seems to find a way of getting inside and on your clothes. And the dirt just seems to appear from nowhere. After a crossing, the boat always needs a thorough clean from head to toe. And a washing machine is always something we're trying to find. Right, we're in a very big hurry this morning. We have nine minutes to get this I'm test. Not, Mark. <laughs> if I'm going somewhere fast, I play motorhead in my head. Really? Yeah. Joao. 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 Hello, guys. Hey, mate. I've been watching your videos for more than five years. <laughs> Great videos. Thank you. That's amazing, man. Thank you. Yeah. How come you let the other guys sneak in front of us? <laughs> we were we were clearly first. Yeah. <laughs> Final words. If I'm not back in ten minutes, just wait another ten minutes. Why didn't you wait for me? Yeah, Dad is getting a swab taken. We hope you'll catch us next time for an interesting week on board. Full of dramas and a few giggles. <laughs> Plus, we have some even more exciting news for you guys. Like, really, really exciting news. We love you guys. We'll see you soon.